Join me as I dive into the aftermath of the massive earthquake that just hit Japan and I'll try to uncover what it means for the people and the country. A massive earthquake has struck Japan and the country is on high alert. The earthquake, which measured a staggering 7.9 on the Richter scale, has left a trail of destruction in its wake, with multiple cities and towns affected. Japan is no stranger to powerful earthquakes, but the sheer scale of this disaster has left experts and residents clear. The immediate aftermath has been chaotic, with emergency services scrambling to respond to the crisis. Buildings have collapsed, roads are blocked, and power lines are down, leaving thousands without electricity. The real challenge for Japan lies ahead, as the country faces the prospect of potential tsunamis, widespread infrastructure damage, and a massive emergency response effort. The government has already mobilized troops and rescue teams to affected areas, but the scale of the disaster is so vast that it will take days, if not weeks, to fully assess the damage. As the rescue efforts continue, the fear of aftershocks is ever-present and residents are on edge, wondering when the next big one will hit. The infrastructure of Japan is being severely tested, and it's unclear how well the country's emergency systems will be able to cope with the sheer volume of need. The geological factors behind the earthquake are complex, but scientists point to the volatile Pacific Ring of Fire, which runs beneath Japan, as the main culprit. Japan is no stranger to natural disasters, but the sheer scale of this earthquake has left the nation real. <laughs> the immediate aftermath has seen chaotic scenes with buildings reduced to rubble, power lines down, and entire communities cut off from the outside world. As rescue teams scramble to reach those trapped under the debris, the full extent of the devastation is slowly coming to light. One of the biggest concerns, of course, is the ever-present threat of tsunamis. The Japanese coast is notoriously vulnerable to these massive waves, and the authorities are working around the clock to evacuate low-lying areas and prepare for the worst. Mm -hmm. 
Meanwhile, the country's infrastructure is buckling under the strain with roads blocked, bridges damaged and vital services disrupted. <laughs> As the emergency response efforts get underway, the challenges are piling up fast. With communication networks down and many areas inaccessible, coordinating rescue efforts is proving a monumental task. And as the hours tick by, the clock is ticking to reach those trapped or injured before it's too late. It's not just the physical impact that's worrying, though the psychological toll of this disaster cannot be overstated. Survivors are left to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives and the nation as a whole is coming to terms with the fragility of its existence. So what exactly triggered this massive quake and what can we learn from it? Seismologists are pointing to the unique geology of Japan, where the Pacific and North American tectonic plates meet, creating a hotspot for seismic activity. The country's location on the so-called Ring of Fire makes it perpetually vulnerable to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. And yet, despite its earthquake from history, Japan has proven time and again its ability to adapt and respond. This quake has hit some areas harder than others, with certain regions bearing the brunt of the destruction. The Japanese government has swung into action, mobilizing troops, rescue teams and medical personnel to deal with the crisis. And as the people of Japan come together to support each other, stories of resilience and bravery are beginning to emerge. The Japanese government has been quick to respond, mobilizing resources and deploying troops to affected areas. But the road to recovery will be long and arduous. As the country struggles to come to terms with the scale of the disaster, stories of survival and bravery are beginning to emerge. One such story is that of a young family who were trapped in their home when the earthquake struck, but managed to escape with their lives thanks to the quick thinking of their 12-year-old son. In the midst of such disaster, it's heartening to see the Japanese spirit shine through and it's a testament to the strength of the human spirit. In the face of such adversity, it's easy to get caught up in the drama of the moment, but it's crucial to remember that Japan is no stranger to earthquakes, 
and it's how the country responds to this disaster that will define its future. Join the conversation in the comments below, share your thoughts and experiences and don't forget to check out my other videos for more updates on this developing situation. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.